Hello all, welcome to part 47 of Kukumbar BDD training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to publish Kukumbar reports to the cloud using environment variable. So let's get started. In the previous sessions, I showed you how to publish the Kukumbar reports to the cloud using publish attribute in runner class and also in one of the other session, I showed you how to publish the same Cucumber reports onto the cloud using properties files, different two types of properties files. Okay. I showed you now in this session, I'm going to show you how to publish a Cucumber reports onto the cloud using environment variable. Okay. There's an environment variable guys that we have to set for publishing the Cucumber reports onto the cloud. So let me practically demonstrate how this is possible. Okay. For that, I'll quickly switch to Eclipse ID here. Okay. So here in Eclipse ID, we have this project, guys. We have created this uh, Cucumber BDD project uh, so far, okay? Uh, so far project is something like this, fine? Okay. So guys, uh, what I'm going to do is, in order to publish the reports onto the cloud, okay, Cucumber BDD reports onto the cloud, what I have to do is, I have to open the command prompt, guys. You see here, it clearly mentioned, first we have to open the command prompt in administrator mode, okay? So for that, I'll click on the search and type CMD, guys. And in the search results, I'll get this command prompt. Just when you search CMD here, it's taking some time. Let me click on this and again, type it. sometimes it will be slow. Yeah, let's see. Still it is slow guys. Okay, we got it. Command prompt, right click on this command prompt and select run as administrator guys, okay? And the command prompt, it will ask you whether you want to open it in uh, administrator mode or not. User access control dialog will come select this. Once you say yes guys, the command prompt will launch like this. Here, you have to type a command. What is a command? Set X, set X, okay? To set any environment variable in your machine, you can use this command, guys. Instead of using the graphical user interface, from the command prompt itself, we can use this command, okay? Set X slash capital M space, set X space, forward slash capital M space. Here, we have to give the name of the environment variable, guys. The name of the environment variable is cucumber underscore enabled Enable, don't make any spelling mistakes. Cucumber, E-N-A-B-L-E-D, enabled, underscore, okay? Uh, before enabled, we have to write publish, guys, okay? Publish, underscore. Set X, space, slash M, space, Cucumber, space, publish, space, enabled, okay? Space, in double quotes, give some true, like this, okay? This is a command, guys. I also provided this command here. You can cross-check here. Set X slash m cucumber underscore publish underscore enabled true okay the same command is also provided in the notes guys you can get it from here if you want okay fine now what you have to do next okay so here you have to run this command guys okay you have to run this here command prompt got opened in the administrator mode and we are writing this command and press enter you see success specified value was saved it is saying that means this environment variable got saved successfully it got set it's nothing but we have set the environment variable with this true value now, okay? Now we have to restart the machine, guys, okay? So while recording this video, I cannot uh, restart the video, right? So what I'm doing is, uh, I have already restarted the video, guys. I'm just showing you, okay? I have already restarted this machine. Uh, but in your case, guys, since I cannot show you how to restart the machine because uh, the recording will stop, right? So I have already restarted my machine, guys, okay? And this uh, environment variable that is Cucumber Publish enabled true is already set in my machine. Okay. After setting this, you have to restart your machine. Don't forget to do that. Otherwise, this environment variable will not be uh, applied to your machine. Okay. After restarting your machine, come to the Eclipse ID and come to the runner class. So here you see, I'll run this runner class using JNIT. And you will see that the Cucumber HTML report will be published onto the cloud at that uh, URL. Okay. Website URL. After running, you just scroll down here to see whether it got, yeah, you see, we view your Cucumber report at, it got published, guys, at this particular cloud URL, it got published, reports.cucumber.io, at this website, uh, on the cloud means internet, okay, we got this particular report published using the environment variables this time, okay, and this report is going to self-destruct in 24 hours, okay, for 24 hours, this report will be there, otherwise, after 24 hours, it will not be there, so paste the URL, copy-paste this URL, guys, this particular URL, copy-paste, uh, from the Eclipse ID onto the browser. If you get any symbols before HTTPS or after the 61, okay, as provided in this, uh, after 61, if you are getting any symbols, uh, unnecessary symbols, you can remove that and press enter, you'll get the report on the cloud. 
this report is a cloud report internet report which can be shared to your team right this you can share with your team guys you see this report will self destruct in a day that is in 24 hours it will self destruct so if you want to keep your future reports you have to log into the github some options are coming that i'm going to show you in the upcoming sessions okay so for now how to publish the reports onto the cloud using the environment variable i am showing you but how to you know kind of uh, uh, keep them forever instead of uh, getting them you see distracted in 24 days and if you want this report to be available for uh, forever time then what we have to do that i am going to show you later okay so here you can also manually delete this report guys so immediately the report will get deleted guys okay from the cloud that report will get deleted okay you see these are the reports we got this is the report we got and uh, Click on delete report. You see, it will, are you uh, are you sure you want to delete this report? This action cannot be undone. Just click on delete. The report will be removed from the cloud immediately. Unexpected error. Please try and pick few minutes. Okay, it looks like the option is yeah. It got deleted. You see, the report got deleted, guys. We we will get some other report, guys. This is not our report. Some other has run the report. You see, some Ruby and all. It's not our environment. Okay. So this is what is about publishing Cucumber reports onto the cloud using environment variable and how to delete the reports from the cloud and all the stuff. Okay, I covered in this session. So that's all for this session, guys. Uh, in the next session, I'll show you how to keep your report for, you know, uh, you, you don't want this particular report to be self-destructed in 24 hours and you still, uh, you want to keep the report, okay, instead of getting it automatically deleted after 24 hours, what to do that I'm going to cover in the next session. Okay, so that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye.